like a diamond. You alone, you cut my heart like glass, just like that. Like a lion, uncontrolled. Your mark is on my back, just like that. So here is my breakfast. I have some yummy raspberries, and then I went ahead and made an English muffin breakfast sandwich. So it's an English muffin, ham, pepper jack cheese, and an egg. So let me show you what I use to put together my sandwich in case you wanna make this at home and we'll go over points and calories. These are the English muffins I use. They're just the or wheat sourdough English muffins. These are four points. This is the ham I hauled in my grocery haul. It was, I think, Smithfield honey ham. And what I added to my sandwich is one point's worth of ham. And then I took one half of a slice of pepper jack or one of these half slices from this Trader Joe's cheese party tray. That is an additional two points. So my breakfast is seven points total and I cannot wait to dig into this. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. As you saw, I just had my breakfast. It was absolutely incredible. That breakfast sandwich was so delicious. I am working on my first cup of water. I had my coffee already this morning and I wanted to sit down really quick and say hello and welcome you to today's What I Eat in a Day. We have a pretty fun day ahead of us. Lots of good food, a really good dinner recipe. I have a fun unboxing that I thought that I would share with you. I was going to open it up this weekend and I stopped myself even though I was really excited and set it aside so we could do it together today. But before we jump into the rest of our day, I have been getting a lot of questions lately about what vitamins, supplements I take. A lot of you have noticed that my hair has gotten really long. It's much, much healthier than it used to be. I'm getting a lot of questions on my skin and how I keep my skin looking a little bit more youthful. So I thought that I would share with you today the supplements that I'm taking. I take them every morning after breakfast, so this is the perfect time. The first thing I do every single day is add collagen to my coffee. So I really like the collagen for her brand. It is new to me. I've been using it now for about a month. I find it to be more effective even than Vital Proteins. It's about the same price. You can get it a little less expensive than Vital Proteins, but that is one supplement that I take every single morning in my coffee. It dissolves really well, and collagen is really good for hair, skin, nails, joint recovery. I did an entire video about collagen on my nutrition channel, so I'll link that video down below for you. So that is the first supplement that I take every day. Once I eat my breakfast, I then take my Thrive probiotic. You guys know that Troy and I both have been taking this probiotic now for several, several months. This is personalized to me based on my gut health test that I sent in to Thrive. I will link the gut health test down below for you. It is 50% off through that link. So I'll put that down below for you guys. But this has been a complete game changer in my overall gut health. It's been a complete game changer in Troy's overall gut health. And I take two tablets one time a day after breakfast. I always like to take supplements after a meal, I just find that it doesn't bother my stomach that way and they can digest and be a little bit more effective more quickly. They're a soft gel capsule, so they're really easy to take. Now, along with my probiotics, I've added in two additional supplements, just supplements that I felt that I needed on a day-to-day -day basis. The two supplements I added in are mushrooms. Now, I know that that sounds a little bit weird, but I love mushrooms, first of all, and mushrooms have beneficial health properties. So I have been taking two mushroom supplements from the brand Vita 
cap. They are vegan, they are made in the USA, they're gluten free, they're 100% vegan, paleo friendly, and they're non-GMO. So I'm really big on making sure that the supplements I take come from the USA, just so we can ensure that the ingredients are a little bit better. So the first supplement that I've added to my routine from VitaCap is the Lion's Mane. Now this is a supplement for focus, clarity and mood. I've been taking this now for a couple of weeks and I'm loving it. I have noticed a big increase in not only my focus and clarity, but it's also helped my mood, especially when it's that time of the month and I become a little bit oversensitive and maybe a little bit grouchy. This has really stepped up and helped that out a lot. Every bottle is made with organic, responsibly sourced mushrooms with strict quality assurance using expert technique. Lion's Mane is basically a type of mushroom and it's called that because it it has a shaggy appearance, kind of like a lion's mane. It's been featured in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries, and now it's coming to us in the form of a capsule, which makes it so incredibly easy to take. After harvesting the lion's made mushrooms, they're dried and ground down into a powder packed with all the nutrients of a natural plant. The capsules contain mycelium, which is the richest part of the fungus. They then infuse the powder into veggie capsules or vegan capsules, making it easy for consumption and suitable for for everyone. Some of the potential benefits of the lion's mane is boosting your mood, aiding in your digestion, and benefiting your health, heart health. I've definitely noticed that these have made a big difference, like I said, in clarity and in mood, especially if you're someone that suffers from mood swings, maybe depression. This may be a good natural supplement for you to take. Again, it is kind of that gel vegan capsule. I take one of these lion's mane capsules every single day as part of my supplement routine. And what I love too about the brand VitaCap is it's 100% natural. So all that is in this gel capsule is 750 milligrams of organic lion's mane. That is everything other than the vegan digestible capsule. So this I've been taking every day. And like I said, so far I have been loving it. The other VitaCap mushroom supplement that I've added to my routine, which I have been absolutely loving, is Chaga Chaga. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but this one actually supports metabolic health. And you know I'm on a weight loss journey, a healthy lifestyle journey. So if I can supplement my metabolic health with something natural, along with eating right and physical activity and exercise, then I'm absolutely here for that. It also supports digestive health, supports youthfulness, and it's a natural antioxidant. I like this paired with my probiotic because both of those items really help put my gut health and my digestive health intact. So these particular mushrooms are grown in a greenhouse under strict supervision. Technically, chaga is not a mushroom at all since mushrooms are fungus. The chaga produces mushrooms, but they're incredibly difficult to see. They're generally hidden in the tree, and then again, they extract the mycelium to make the product. The chaga mushrooms are cultivated in Russia, where specialists ensure they're exposed to the environment that they need. As the chaga mushrooms grow in an enclosed greenhouse, the cultivators can guarantee the right growing conditions. When harvest time comes, the growers painstakingly collect the chaga mushrooms. They're sun-dried, tested for quality, and ground into a fine powder. They add the powder to the capsule and package them into these, into these user-friendly jars. There's said to be many potential ways in which chaga extract capsules can help. Chaga mushrooms contain an impressive array of bioactive compounds. Chaga mushrooms have been known to reduce inflammation, lower blood pressure, it's filled with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, and of course it supports digestive and metabolic health. I take two of these per day. They're 750 milligrams per capsule, so basically 1,500 milligrams per day. And like I said, I have noticed immediate results from both the lion's mane and the chaga. This one can counteract with over-the-counter medications and prescription medications, so make sure you're consulting your physician before you're taking these. But like I said, I take two capsules per day, generally after breakfast, along with my other supplements. These two products have been such beneficial additions to my supplements. I am all about a healthy gut, a healthy lifestyle, losing weight, making sure I'm doing it in a healthy, sustainable way, and of course, supplementing my body with things that it may be missing. These I highly, highly recommend. I will link these down below with a discount for you. 
So if you're interested in checking out the VitaCat brand, they do have several mushroom supplements available. These are just the two that I chose. I will most likely be exploring a lot of their other supplements, seeing how those work for my body. It's all kind of an exploration game to figure out what supplements work best for you. But so far, so good. So far, I'm loving these two. I will definitely repurchase. And like I said, I'll do a little more investigating into some of their other supplements. And the last supplement that I take daily is the My Adventure to fit greens in the banana apple flavor. Generally, I just dry scoop these, add a little bit of water, swish, drink them down. You can also mix these with water, add them to smoothies. You can really incorporate these greens into your day in any way that you would like. What I love about these is it guarantees I'm getting my greens in every single day. So I add this as part of my morning routine as well. And I will link these down below for you guys as well with a 10% off discount. So those are the supplements that I've currently been taking. Like I said, I'm loving every single one of them. Highly recommend VitaCap. Again, I'll link them down below with the discount. And of course the Thrive Gut Health and the My Adventure to Fit Greens. So let's get back into our what I eat in a day. Tell everybody you just got neutered, Palmer. Did you just get neutered? You guys, he's doing so well, he acts totally normal. Like he never got neutered, it's so crazy. I'll see if I can flip him over, maybe when Troy gets home and show you guys his belly. He just has a couple little scars. Uh, his one ball wasn't up in there as far as they thought, so it was much easier to remove, so it was less invasive. Palmer, tell you I'm just as crazy as I've ever been. Pumpkin, are you crazy? Palmer, over here. Yes, you are. I love you. Hi, Diesel dog. Diesel's doing so good, you guys. Like, so, so good. His poor hair is still not grown back very much. I mean, it can take up to a couple years, but he's doing really good. He's been spending a lot of time in the shade on his dog bed. Hey, Palmer, where's your sister? Oh, there she is. Hi, baby. Lola, were you out in the dirt? Come here. Let mama see you. Let me see you, baby. Come here. Yep, she was. Look at this. She lays in the dirt. Watch. Can you guys see all that dirt coming off of her? <sighs> Lola Lou. Lola. Lola, why you do that? Why you do that? Why you lay in the dirt? It is my morning snack time. It is 9.30 a.m. I ate my breakfast pretty early this morning before 7. So I picked up these Good Culture Cottage Cheese. You guys know how much I love Good Culture. Now these ones have Simply Pineapple. Three grams of sugar, 100 calories, 15 grams of protein. I will put the points here on the screen. So I'm going to have this along with a bottle of kombucha. This is the Ginger Aid. WW counts kombucha as three points. Jen counts kombucha as one point. And then of course I'll add in the points of my cottage cheese, but this is just going to be a quick and easy snack. So I thought I would unbox my fall FabFitFun box with you guys. I am not an affiliate. I, this is not sponsored. They did not send this to me. I paid for this with my very own money and I barely could wait to break into this, but I thought that it would be kind of fun for us to unbox this together to see what I got in my fall box. I believe that this is about $50 per quarter. It comes four times a year. I actually just pay for it up front for the year because then I have access to select the items in my box a little bit sooner. I did pick most of the items in here. I can't remember what I picked. So it's still a little bit of a surprise. So let's dig in. First, look how cute this box is. So you always receive the Fab Fit Fun Magazine Best of Fall Flavors. It's going to tell you everything that you could have chosen for your box. It's retail value. And then in the magazine is also some fun stuff like some recipes. There's a gluten-free warm apple crumble, some spicy noodles talks a little bit about what is your skin type and choosing the right skincare. So we'll use this to figure out the overall value of the box and see if it's really worth the money. So the first thing I'm pulling out is from Heineken, 0% alcohol, 100% taste. I think this is an addition. Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about how cute this little can of beer is? I think this is a bonus in the box. This isn't part of the FabFitFun box. How stinking cute is this? I won't drink this. I don't know if Troy will, but we just have to admire how adorable this little can of beer is. So I was wrong. I thought this magazine told you the price and what was in your box. It does not. It is just a pretty generic FabFitFun magazine. It's been a few months since last quarter that I received this box, so I kind of forgot how that worked. 
So the first product in my box is from Mad Skincare, M-A-D Skincare. This is Glycolic Age Diffusing Cleanser. You guys know I'm a major skincare junkie, so I'm always here for a good quality cleanser. It says effective exfoliation and gentle cleansing, a blend of glycolic acid and gentle cleansing agents, lift away dirt and dead skin cells, leaving your skin glowing, soothe, and moisturize. Minimizes the appearance of fine lines and makes your skin look radiant. I definitely need that. So I'm excited for this. Glycolic acid is really, really good for the skin. And I'm always up for a cleanser that also exfoliates as well. I always exfoliate my face before I do any type of face mask because it allows everything to just soak in a little bit more. Next in my box is from Benefit. This is their Pore Professional pore filling primer. I've actually never used this product. I do use pore filling primer a lot. This looks like it is a full size. It's nice to get makeup and primers and things in FabFitFun box because it isn't a beauty subscription. It's more of a lifestyle subscription. I've never used this before. I know that this is pretty expensive as Benefit products are. So I am pretty excited for this. In my box is this little miniature travel size of the Dove Advanced Care deodorant. This is the spray one. I think this and the little can of beer are just bonuses in the box. Next in my box is some jewelry from the brand Jenny Bird. I remember picking this out. It is so beautiful. So what it is, is this cuff bracelet with all of these different metals and chains. It's so pretty. I'm, so this is what it looks like. It is the cuff style. Obviously I can't put it on by myself. I'm definitely not talented enough for that, but I did select this. I think this is absolutely stunning. I like that it's just some mixed metal. So it goes with just about everything. Super, super excited. Next is from the brand Pure Lease. I also selected this. This is the pumpkin and ginger detoxifying charcoal mask. I love face masks. Love them. I use them several, several times a week. I love anything pumpkin and I have heard rave reviews about this mask. I really enjoy the Pure Lease brand. So I thought it's fall. Let's go with some pumpkin spiced scented face mask. I also chose this item from Coach. Now I was really excited to see Coach as an option in the box. And this is an absolutely stunning, stunning set. We know how expensive coaches. So it is a set of earrings and a necklace. The earrings are kind of a flower with a stone in the middle. And then the necklace just has like a, has a really pretty stone in the middle. I had to have this. I love jewelry. I really like the more dainty small jewelry. So I absolutely had to get this. I cannot wait to wear this. And like I said, having coach is an option. I couldn't pass this up. And last but not least in my box is my other item I chose. This is the Phantom Chef 8 inch fry pan. I believe I chose the navy blue color. You guys know I love to do cooking and recipes here on my channel and I love fun, pretty cookware. So when I saw this as an option, I was debating between this and the Dutch oven, but I already have a Dutch oven so I thought, Another fry pan, never hurt anyone. And here's what it looks like. It has a really pretty wood and metal handle. It is that nice navy blue with that really pretty stainless steel base. I'm excited for this. I will definitely get use out of this. You will see this in many upcoming videos. So I knew that I had to pick some type of cookware as my last option. So let's recap what I received in my FabFit thumb box. The Pure Lease Pumpkin and Ginger Detoxifying Mask the beautiful coach set of earrings and necklace, the Jenny Bird cuff bracelet, the Benefit Pore Professional Primer, and the Mad Skincare Cleanser. I love my box. I love everything in it. I will use everything in it. What I love about FabFitFun is it's quarterly, so you're not getting inundated with products all the time. It always has a lot of high-end product options like that coach, necklace and earring set, and Benefit Primer. And I also love that it's a lifestyle box. So I'll link FabFitFun down below for you guys. Like I said, it's not an affiliate link. I purchased this myself, but I'll link it down below if you're interested in signing up. But I would give this box a 10 out of 10. Here's my lunch for today. We're keeping it simple. I actually have to hop on to a coaching call. So I have a piece of Parmesan crusted chicken. This is actually from Target. I picked this up yesterday and we had this for dinner last night. It is so good. 
It's, it has a lot of cheese. It's a little bit greasy when you pop it in your oven, but it's incredible. It is a little bit higher in points and calories. It is seven points for the chicken due to the coating and everything. It is 310 calories for the chicken. And then I just have some organic blackberries and a too good mango hibiscus yogurt. And I top that with just a couple tablespoons of my purely Elizabeth granola. I do not count points for granola. So my lunch is going to be seven points for the chicken two points for the yogurt makes nine points and I just refilled my water I'm over halfway done with my gallon also floor update I know you guys were wanting to kind of walk through the process with us but you can see that our bedroom flooring is completely done it looks so good again this is the aqualogic faded barn a lot of you have reached out asking what flooring we chose we love it it is waterproof it is scratch proof you can see that we're still missing our molding apparently they're putting the molding on at the very end and they're just going to have to move all the furniture back out again but the bedroom is done and the main living room we covered our couch because the flooring that we tore up, the sticky floor, was really sticky underneath. So we ended up putting baby powder down on the floor and kind of brushing it with the big broom there. And it got everywhere. I literally had to vacuum this couch. So we covered it with some sheets. But this room is completely done minus the molding. And they have started putting the flooring in the living room. You can see we put some towels down. That's actually over where they pulled flooring up because it is still kind of sticky excuse me mister excuse me because it is still kind of sticky under there but they have started in the main living room so this is the new flooring and that's the old flooring so like I said it is pretty similar this one is just so much better quality it's so much thicker and cushier when you walk on it luckily our subfloor was perfection they literally only had to peel the flooring up and put a little bit of bond in a few areas we had all the flooring torn out in the guest bathroom and it's just waiting for the new flooring and all the flooring in my office is gone the carpet is gone and we are going to put the hardwood floor or the laminate flooring in here too i was kind of playing around with my desk a little bit my goal is to put it in front of my window for some natural light but all of the carpet is out and it is ready for flooring, hopefully on Monday. All right, guys, come on, out. Come on, pull, come on. So it looks so, so, so good. So the goal is on Monday to start here in the dining room and start with the floors in the kitchen. We have lots of towels over all of the areas the flooring has been torn up. We're actually replacing all of the molding around our cabinets with white molding as well. So the next project is to tear out the flooring in the kitchen, that living room we were just in, and then here in the laundry room. They decided that they're just going to go over this wood flooring because it is glued to the concrete in the mud room. Here's everything that was in our storeroom is now in our mudroom so we can get the carpet pulled out in there as well. But we're just going to go over the top of this wood flooring. It'll just make it a lot easier. And then the storeroom, storage room's completely cleaned out with the exception of one shelf that just wouldn't fit in our mudroom. And then this carpet is coming out and the wood flooring is going in here as well. So that is an update on the flooring our hope is by the end of next week to have it done so of course i'll give you guys another update in the next what i eat in a day for dinner tonight i am making chinese fake out orange chicken and rice i'm so excited for this so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need a couple of large breasts of chicken two oranges cornstarch you can use ginger paste like i am or ginger powder garlic powder crushed red pepper flakes eggs soy sauce rice wine vinegar sweetener of your choice i'm using lakanto monk fruit which is my all-time favorite i will link lakanto down in the description box for you with 15 percent off some all-purpose flour and then if you want to pair it with rice rice of your choice we are going to go with jasmine so the first thing we're going to get started is actually the orange sauce along with our rice so you can see here that i did go ahead and zest one of the oranges and set that aside. We do need the zest of one full orange for the sauce. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a half of a cup of my monk fruit sweetener, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, 
two tablespoons of soy sauce. My soy sauce is from the Thrive Market. This is the best soy sauce ever. I love Thrive so, so much. I will link it down below for you guys with a discount and a free gift with your first order. About a quarter of a teaspoon or so of ginger paste. I'm adding the tiniest, tiniest bit of red pepper flakes because we do not like our food very spicy. And then about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder as well. And lastly, the juice from the two oranges. So what I'm going to do is just squeeze that directly into my pot. We want about a cup total, which is about what we'll get out of two full oranges. We're going to put the orange mixture, which smells amazing by the way, on the stovetop and allow it to come to a boil. In another pan, I'm going to do one cup of jasmine rice, two cups of water, and get that going on the stovetop as well. While that is going on the stove, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my chicken into bite-sized pieces. I always remove any fat off of my chicken first. Our orange sauce is at a boil. I'm going to let it boil and stirring consistently for about three minutes. I also have my rice now at a boil, so I'm going to reduce the heat and allow that to cook. I made a slurry out of a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and water. I'm going to add that to the orange sauce and allow it to continue cooking until thickened. Our sauce is nice and thick. So the last step is we're going to add in that orange zest and then just set this aside. So what I have here, my little station, is I have up my I have my chicken in bite-sized pieces, third of a cup of cornstarch, third of a cup of flour, pinch of salt in one bowl, and then I went ahead and did two eggs. The recipe calls for three. If I need another one, I'll whisk it up really quickly, but I generally have leftover eggs. And then I have my fry pan with some nonstick cooking spray. So what I'm going to do is dip the piece of chicken in the egg, and then dip the piece of chicken in the flour, and then I'm going to put all of the little pieces into my fry pan. So I ended up not even using both of the two eggs, so I'm glad I only cracked two eggs. So you'll need two to three, and I'm going to put this on the stove top over medium high heat. I wanna get this chicken nice and crispy, and our rice is just about done. So the chicken is cooking right along. Again, I have this over medium high heat. You can see that it's starting to get crispy. We just wanna make sure that not only that it's crispy, like Chinese takeout, but also that the chicken is cooked through completely. Our rice is done, so I just have it on really, really low temp, set aside, keeping warm. And of course, our orange sauce is done as well. So as soon as our chicken is fried up, we're going to go ahead and add the orange sauce directly to our chicken. Mix it together. I'm so excited for this. I keep smelling whiffs of that orange sauce, and it smells so good. So I went ahead and turned the heat off now that the chicken is done. I have my orange sauce here. So I'm just going to add it directly to the chicken and then toss to coat. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this looks pretty darn amazing. It smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner, you guys. Doesn't this look incredible? I don't know what you think, but this definitely looks like Chinese food. To me, we are keeping it simple tonight. I was going to do a veggie as a side, but I have to go upload my video still for tomorrow, so we're keeping it really simple. I did end up going with an entire cup of rice just because the chicken itself is so low in points. So the orange chicken makes six servings. This is actually two servings, only because I wanted to have a bigger portion since this was all I'm having for dinner, and I do have quite a bit of points and calories left. So my cup of rice is six points. The chicken itself is one point per serving on blue and purple, and three on the green plan you do not have to count the juice we use because we squeezed it directly from a fresh orange versus pasteurized orange juice and again three points on the green plan I will put the calories here on the screen per serving but my dinner is six for the rice and then three points for the chicken so my dinner is a nine point so here is my dessert tonight I'm going to have one of the oatmeal raisin Mrs. Fields cookies I actually picked this box of three up at the Dollar Tree. They are really, really good. This is the size of the cookie in the package, so 
it is the perfect dessert and that's going to finish out all of my food for today. today's what I eat in a day video. As you saw on the screen previous to this one, my points versus calories. As always, I do calories first, points second. It's more important for me to hit my calorie goal every day than to stay within my points. So I hope you enjoyed today's what I eat in a day. As always, I will link everything that I shared with you in today's video down in that description box, along with my recipe ebook, nutrition coaching, and of course, my Facebook group, come on over, join us there as well. If you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. It only takes a minute and I really appreciate it. And as always, if you're new and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye friends.